Hi guys, in this video I should be talking about my top five tips for dealing with depersonalization, derealization symptoms. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. A little red button will appear. So, tip number one, consistent guided meditation. So I, I've dipped my toe in and out of meditation for many years and recently got Sam Harris's um, app called Waking Up. And I, I sort of support him, um, so I got it for free. I think you have to pay a little bit now, but I would honestly pay like £100 for it. It is absolutely brilliant. Five-star reviews from everywhere. And I've gone from wearing shades almost every day to quite often having got to the point with the meditation to accept the symptoms not wearing shades, which is really sounds like nothing, to, <laughs> I'm sure, but for me it was a big deal thing. I would highly recommend that. You get 10 minute guided ones each day, uh, progressively introducing new techniques um, and gradually getting more advanced, even though it's very relaxing and enjoyable. And there's a, day, a daily one that's literally updated every day going, going forward and all kinds of talks and lectures he does on it. And he's an atheist neuroscientist, so he doesn't say anything too crazy. Um, yes, I won't go into all the benefits of meditation, but in a nutshell, all the things that are suffocating you here, uh, feelings um, that are created by the thoughts you realise when you examine it, sort of go over here. And it's a big relief and there's a bit of space for you. So, number two tip. Tip number two. Uh, go outside into nature and try and make a, a habit of it. Um, our brains are, are wired for rural tranquility. This has been proven over and over again, scientifically, and makes perfect sense. Living in a concrete jungle is not that good for us. Um, yes, you you really notice this on psychedelics day. You go to a flower garden or near trees and you feel a wave of calm because the, the, the magnetic, magnetic field given off by those organisms um, is soothing to us. And you can um, reconnect, but make a habit of it, you know, mm -hmm. even when it's cold. Great time to do the guided meditations, in fact. Um, but yeah, that just cut, it's you have an anxiety response system and a calming response system and it activates more your calming response system. So, tip number three, yoga. I cannot recommend highly enough incorporating a yoga practice into your life, even if it's just five minutes a day or 10 minutes a day. Yoga with Adrienne I talked about in, um, in my depersonalization videos. Depersonalization, you'll be okay. Uh, maybe some other videos as well. But that yoga literally means to realign and when you have depersonalization, derealization, you do not feel aligned. <laughs> it's almost the last thing you feel um, and that can help calm and centre you and ground you quite quite effectively but again you have to make a, a habit um, out of it um, and not just do it once and think oh, I'm fixed you know it's as I said before maintaining discipline and, and forcing yourself to do little, little things daily is, is the way forward because as soon as we start slipping and stagnating then the bad things happen so I'm sure you know Okay, tip number four, uh, a bit more controversial and not for everyone, but medication. If you found a medication that really helps you function, no matter, say everyone else disapproves of it. Well, maybe they're right if everyone disapproves of it, but you know what I mean? You know, you know what, what pill sits right with your body and what doesn't. Sertraline works wonders for some people. Sertraline, the antidepressant, works wonders for some people with uh, these symptoms and for other people it makes them worse. Citalopram, the same, made it worse for me, works wonders for some people. Uh, Valium is, is very addictive, but that's what I've been taking to sort of get by. But I'm tapering my dose because I made a video on this called Valium the Beautiful Whirlpool, because whilst it is, for me anyway, good, it is a whirlpool. Okay, <laughs> tip number five, sunglasses. I've said this before in, the, in related videos, but I don't, don't know where I'd be possibly six feet lower than I am now if I had not been wearing sunglasses a lot of the time uh, especially when the symptoms are really bad because they're so visually triggered you know um, it can take it can take the edge off it can so you're say you're depersonalized derealized and your sense of hearing is no your sense of um, sight obviously is five times higher than it used to be you put some shades on it can be two times higher and you can choose, you know, you can walk around on a, on a not that sunny day with these and not look too ridiculous. I don't know if you can see my eyes, but you can see my eyes on a sunny day in these. 
uh, people might just think you've <laughs> the prescription as well. Or you can go all out and just and just make a fashionable statement. You know, I quite like these as well. No one can see me. And the one of the best gigs I ever did with um with my band. It's tempting to leave them on with my band at the festival at Acton Village, the tiny festival in a, in a market. Um, I wore those all day and it was sunny enough to get away with wearing them all day and not look like a complete arse and it was great. Uh, you know, it was, <laughs> the symptoms were so much more reduced. I could see everyone, no one could see me looking freaked out by things and it was great. So yes, there you have it guys, top 10 tips. No, not even that, top five tips for dealing with depersonalization derealization. There are other tips in my other videos. Subscribe to my channel if you like this, share it wherever you like, I've got other stuff down below, links to my music, Spotify, iTunes, etc. It's all free. Free, free, free. Alright guys, take it easy.